regular listeners know that privacy and personal security are the two of the touchstones of our program. Your vehicle is essentially a series of computers connected to the internet via Wi-Fi hotspot and Bluetooth, along in some cases with over-the-air updates from the manufacturer. And right now, at least for the infotainment systems, it's a matter of over-the-air updates, particularly like the F-150. In the case of the Tesla, it's not just that. You've got some performance over-the-air updates that happen too. And in the coming years, that will be the way that your vehicle will either be repaired, updated, um, improved, over-the-air updates that you would unlock, uh, you'd pay your money, they'd send a code, and upgrade your, your car. That's coming. Now, Apple and Google have systems built into the infotainment system of your vehicle right now to sync with your phone, to sync your phone with your car, <laughs> as well as your home and other Internet of Things devices. You don't believe me? Be in your car, sync your phone, and ask Alexa to do something at home and see if that don't happen. It's scary. And I'm not even talking about GPS, OnStar, and the like. So here's a question. Who's looking out for you and your privacy and your data? Who is actively guarding your personal information? <laughs> well, I'll tell you who it isn't. It's not the federal government. It's a small but growing number of individual states like California and now Virginia. Could more states jump on the bandwagon in a vacuum of federal regulation? Um, I vote yes. I hope so. I mean, it's something... Um Look and see what your state's doing. And, you know, if you really feel uh, ambitious and want to talk to one of your Congress people that represent you, this is something that should be, you know, important to everybody. The feds should be doing it. Yeah. Period. Full stop. Yeah. But then again, I got a list of things yeah. the feds should be doing. We got a lot to be doing. Yeah. So. In terms of safety, uh, in terms of specifying things. Again, my personal pet peeve, uh, specifying performance of autonomous vehicles. Yeah. Not technology how they should perform under certain situations, just like your motor vehicle is required to do now. But privacy is, and our information is so ingrained into everything you do. I mean, your phone's probably listening to you and deciding what to sell to you right now. It's mm -hmm. tracking where you go. I mean, mm -hmm. this isn't this isn't tinfoil hat stuff. It's just, it's what it is. All it of is us, all what of us it know is. it. <laughs> what did somebody say? Uh, if if it's free, it's not free you're the you're the product. Yep, like uh, Robinhood, right? Robinhood free free tra uh, yeah. free trading app, right? You just get a you don't pay anything, but they're selling the information of how you deal with the stocks to stock people. So like yeah. they're selling your information. That's that. So it's not free, mm -hmm. and it's buried in all that boilerplate. Yep, absolutely. Now the legislation in Virginia allows residents to opt out of targeting their data and the sale of their data, similar to the California law. Here's the, here's the part I really love. They can also obtain the data that the companies have collected about them and correct or delete it. May I quote, the right to be forgotten. Europe has it. Yep. It's a European. Yep. Europe has it. Yep. Now, this bill is known as the Virginia Consumer Protection Act, and the legislation will take effect in 2023. And that's kind of like the same thing California did. They passed it in 2018 with it to take effect in 2020. And this makes sort of sense. Now, interesting. Amazon, Microsoft, and the tech industry trade groups have backed the bill. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Wasn't strong enough. No, it wasn't. And we're going to talk about the one thing that it doesn't do. But no. And If I they backed it, it wasn't strong enough. Well, you're right. And I think from their standpoint, it's better to have something than to risk having something that's more onerous to them. And it's good. I think it's a good PR move for them too. If they can find something they know that's still beneficial to them, but it also looks like they're saving face. Like we support this bill that mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's against us, but you know, we support it. You know, it's a good thing. Now they said that legislators said that their proposal was influenced by Europe's general data protection regulation and other state privacy efforts that Virginians need these protections in the absence of action from Washington. Ain't that the truth? Now, uh, the legislator asks a very pertinent question. Who needs to worry about hackers when we're giving away and selling consumers' private identifiable information? 
We just want to make sure that we're protecting the consumer's data privacy rights, which they are to a degree, but, but. here's the thing. Um, and I want to find this because it's the one thing that was kind of weak. However, yep. the Virginia state law noticeably, notably does not allow individuals to sue companies for violating their policy rights. Yikes. Doesn't do it. And uh, it they don't have tools to allow co consumers to easily opt out of data collection practices from multiple companies, meaning you have to go to every one. And see, in my perfect world, you would have one, one um, um, format or one place. You could go, to, you know, if you're accessing me and my data, here is my standard that all of y'all need to deal with. Yeah. You know, it's my profile. On, off, on, off, 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 off. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. So if right here we and have you this can't do that. legislation, and if you found out that they were violating your private policy rights you couldn't do anything about it no not in not in virginia state court no yikes but the problem is you can't do nothing now yeah yeah i mean baby steps yes and that's their whole argument it's better to start with something rather than wait to get the perfect everything and end up with nothing who would have voted against that <laughs> um there are Big tech backing these Congress people and saying, hey, you're mm -hmm. not going to go I for could, that. I could see where that is. But if you start, it's better to get a foot in the door and build on it yeah. than to start with nothing, trying to get everything at the same time, realizing that if you're trying to take that big a bite, you may end up with nothing yeah. and no protection. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, it's not perfect. No, it's not. But against nothing, yeah. against absolutely no protection at all. Yeah. You know, I mean, what else is coming? We know autonomous cars are coming. We know that this big data is only the tip of the iceberg, even now, with everything that they want to do. Yet, we don't know how information, who's gathering information about us, what are they doing with it, who are they selling it to, where is it being kept, and is it being used against us? I think you're hitting a little bit on there, too, is just people even then being knowledgeable of it of it having knowledge of it which is why we like trying to raise awareness about it when we can because uh the last polling i saw of at least companies like facebook and google their favorability was a lot higher than you might think compared to that of actually in congress so mm -hmm. well <laughs> doesn't I'm mean they're doing anything I'm about it gonna, but i'm not even going to touch that yeah. for so many reasons but this legislator also made a point that he wanted to add legislation down the line that would specifically address data privacy concerns relating to artificial intelligence and facial recognition. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, facial recognition, the systems that we have now are so accurate when it comes to people of color and women. Not. Absolutely not. Now, there's a couple of other states that are looking at trying to do something. And I want to see if I can find this because they were talking about them. Oh, I don't. They were talking about, I think. Minnesota. Yeah. New York. Uh, I Oklahoma, I think, was one state that was looking at trying to do something. Uh, but there are a number of states that are looking at doing this. New York, Washington State. Yep. They're working on this now. So it's going to happen. And they're going to use the California law, most likely, and the European law as templates. Mm -hmm.